Operation 36 doing some pretty incredible work as well. Yeah, so we're, um, when we started out 15 years ago, uh, we didn't realize that the game of golf, playing the game, is the funnest part. And we would just put them on the driving range and after a couple months of training, they didn't want to come back. So we had to figure out a way with the new generation of giving them prompts and celebrating milestones along the way um, and giving them a reason to come to the golf course every day. And we figured out by getting them on the golf course on a consistent basis and shrinking the golf course. So instead of playing from the tee box starting 25 yards away from the hole, every hole is a par four. In their first nine hole experience, if you can get that smile, that excitement from them, they'll come back. And we've had to, over the years, just continue to come up with ways through apps, through technology, through coaches that deliver the program. How do you continually celebrate these small milestones along the way? Because that's the way that kids are motivated now, right? Like different than maybe how we started where we dug it out of the ground. I mean, these kids just, they want to be celebrated every little step of the way. So we've tried to do that by starting close to the hole, moving back with the mentor of a PGA pro. So that's out 36. We'll continue to go down the line, but I do love that approach to it. And, and that doesn't just apply to kids. I mean, honestly, I feel like that is an extremely intelligent way to introduce the game of golf to adults. I mean, my mom, 2020, she was one of those new golfers who took up the game, and she's 72 years old, a school teacher. She's never had a club in her hand. And to work on short game, I know Tom would agree with this too, is a very good way, a strong way that will set you out on the right path to the game of golf if you want to have success there. Because driving it right off the tee can be a little tricky at times. 